Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the Newbrick Workshop. Now, when you use your path guide system to create your custom cutting station or your bench top, whatever it might be, uh, there are a number of critical things you've got to remember. And I'm not going to miss the opportunity to remind you to oil the shaft of the cutter. Um, but the other thing which is really important is to make sure that you extract the waste as you're drilling. Otherwise, particularly with the cheaper MDFs, it can start to clog and then make the uh, cutter overheat, which nobody wants. And in the various videos I've shown of the path guide system in use, you've seen me put a, a hose up to the port here uh, and then done my uh, drilling in the normal way. Uh, what I'm going to show you today is a very, very simple gadget, and you can make this yourself. And this is a simple little accessory which fits over here like that you attach your hose like so uh, and then you would start drilling and as you push down on this uh, so it's helping to keep the 20 millimeter guide block in place and you're doing the extraction all you've got to be able to do is to drill a 22 millimeter hole here uh, and make some cutouts here uh, the angles of all of these things are 30 degrees or 60 whichever way you look at them uh, and although I've not drilled them in here, you would have to drill a 35 millimeter hole in this piece, and it's this piece here. Now, I say 35 millimeters because my Festool hose uh, has an end on it which fits snugly into a 35 millimeter hole. Now, this could be used in either position, either on this one or on this one, and all you do is you just rotate it, and you can put the extraction hose in from either side. I'll just get this uh, set up for gluing. Right, well you can see this now. I've got a, a base here. The base is long enough, the whole thing is long enough so it goes at least to where these places are here and here on the wings uh, where you can use these clamps. Now you'd think, ah, oh, well, he's going to saw all the way through this in one go. And the, and the trick is, is to use the little trenching uh, control here so that when you trench down, uh, you're only going just deep enough uh, to uh, get the saw blade into this corner here. So let's put this into position. I've opened up my fences and they're out of the way. And now the idea is that you would put a clamp in at each end and one there. And now this now protects my zero clearance uh, fences that I made uh, earlier. And when I do a cut now, there's a straight cut. And if I go over to 30 degrees, that's 30 degrees. And you can see now I've got zero clearance, 30 degrees that way, and indeed, this way too. Now the only thing you have to watch is these pieces are not terribly well held on because they've just got that slender bit of glue at the bottom. The advantage now is with these curve marks at the back here I can line up where I want to do my cut and I can line it up exactly in the right place. So I've held this in place because uh, I don't want to get my fingers anywhere near this as it uh, does the cut. And there's that piece cut to shape. All I've got to do now is cut it to length. And I'm going to do the, the long uh, 30 degree cut now on this piece. Remember, always let the saw blade come to a stop before you lift it up. That's that back to upright. I, I know where to cut this and I can use that rear cuff mark to line this up absolutely spot on. I've got to cut several pieces off 48 millimeters long. So I've just put this uh, stop here uh, and that will allow me to do uh, multiple cuts at 48. Now you need to take care when you do a cut like this with a stop here. The saw has come to a complete stop. Put your finger there and lift. Uh, the reason you put your finger there is if you don't, the blade will lift this end and it will make it go up at an angle and that will push your stop over. It will damage this edge and all sorts. 
Now, when you've got a short piece like this, you must never put your fingers anywhere near. Find some means of holding it. I've put this piece of gash wood here. So that's all my pieces, 48 millimeters in length. And you can see now how uh, this is shaping up. Uh, I've got this piece here with the 22 millimeter hole. Now, uh, my 22 millimeter drill uh, was actually slightly undersized for this particular uh, bush. And so I eased that out uh, just very slightly with uh, some sandpaper. And my hose could either go through this end or this end and that would go on there like so. That will be glued. And then we have uh, end pieces, one which goes uh, all the way down to this bar here, and the other one which just goes down to the top there. So the two end pieces are different. Now I need to do some 30 degree cuts now uh, on the uh, mitre side, and so I've moved my sacrificial uh, extra piece over. Uh, it's held in place uh, by a clamp on my left here. And I'll, I'll now do the a preparatory cut. So that's established my kerf line and I want to get this corner right on the kerf line. One. So I've now got the basic shape for the two end pieces. Right, okay, so I've got my two end pieces, one there uh, and one uh, here. Now this next stage is quite important to get this right. Now we're gonna use the uh, 20 millimeter drill guide as uh, a um, mounting jig, if you like, uh, because it's important that when these pieces are glued on that everything is flat on the bench. So now I'm gonna put that on there. And I'm now going to put one on this side and one on the other side. Now it's almost impossible to clamp this, uh, as you can probably appreciate. And so what I'm going to do is making sure that uh, these gaps are closed up so the, the faces are properly against each other and that it's sitting on the top of the bench. I'm just going to push it up by hand and then I'm going to leave it. And don't worry if you haven't got the dimensions quite right so that this top isn't quite in line here. Mine isn't absolutely spot on. The key thing is that everything is flat on the bench and this piece is flat on the top of the, the guide. So that's it. I'm just going to leave that for about 20 minutes to go off just enough so I can then you know, glue on uh, the, the other pieces. I've now uh, put glue on the sides and I'm now going to just get this clamped up. I'm doing it very carefully because the glue, the initial bit of glue is still probably pretty tacky. So that's it. Uh, now I'm going to really let that glue uh, go off. Now if you look inside here you can see part of uh, this flat piece here uh, protrudes into this hole. Uh, and I'm going to drill through there now uh, at the correct angle uh, to go through there to make it clear. Well, that feels fine. Uh, now all I need to do is uh, test it. I've put a, a tiny drop of oil on the shaft of the drill. And the next stage is to fit the extraction housing over there before then attaching the drill. Now there are two points. I did put oil on the shaft 
and also I made sure that this chuck is done up really tightly. So that's done. Now I'm going to drill a hole just here. Uh, so I'm going to position this and put my pins in. Now when you put the pins in, you don't need to push them in very far when you're doing this. Uh, just far enough so it forms a good registration of that is. Now you can put the extractor hose in from the left or the right. Uh, it's entirely your preference. One would then push down on here uh, to keep everything stable. And the, the beauty of this design is that it means that as you push down on here, you're helping to keep the 20 millimeter guide in place as well. Well, that's that hole done. Take the pins out. There we have a perfectly clean hole. Path dog fits in nicely. Now this cutter I'm using is the original cutter and it's the only cutter I've ever used to do all of the demos, all of the videos, plus a few extra uh, impromptu cutting stations which I've made for friends. So there we have it, a very simple and easy to make device that will go with your path guide system which will ensure that you do manage to extract all of that waste uh, as you're drilling. Thank you very much for watching, take care, bye bye.